guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, if you're not, my name is MJ Fangirl and I make videos for and about the Michael Jackson fan community. Today we're going to be talking about the show-stopping moment, one of the highlights of the BET Awards ever, okay? When Michael Jackson came on stage to pay tribute to his idol James Brown, you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned, you're now watching MJ Fangirl TV. you guys so I'm really really excited to talk about this today because as you guys know Michael Jackson loved to pop up on award shows without warning especially in the 2000s I feel like that was prime time for Michael Jackson just to come out of nowhere and this night was no different now in the BET Awards I believe it was in the 2001 or 2 I'm gonna put it right here in the screen because I don't remember right now but they were paying a tribute uh, to James Brown and you know, very, very well much deserved. James Brown did so much, not only um, for music and pop culture, but he broke down a lot of barriers um, as an African-American artist. And, you know, Mike, Michael Jackson really, really admired him for not only just being the hard work, hardest working man in show business, but also breaking down those barriers and inspired Michael Jackson to be able to do even more. I thought this was amazing and I loved his speech and I kind of wanted to react to this today. So let's watch it and let's talk about it. James Brown and Michael Jackson. It took Michael one step to get in the beat to start that. Did you guys see that? Oh, Michael's about to get started. I love that. Go Michael, go Michael, go Michael, go Michael, go Michael. I like that. I don't know, that just put like an excitement in my heart right now. I've forgotten about this moment. Yes, love that one. We starting something. Oh no, my bad. Don't take my fan card away. That's um, shake your body down to the crowd. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, I missed my beat. <laughs> I was grooving. Oh my gosh, you guys. Love it. Okay. Yeah! I'd say. What is a genius? Wow, <laughs> he came over. What is a genius? One whose inspiration demands change. A genius. I love you more. I couldn't, I couldn't refuse to give this award tonight because nobody has influenced me more than this man right here. Aww. I love that. And I'm happy. From the bottom of my heart, since I was a child, at six years old, he was the one that I looked up to more than any other entertainer. Aww. And I still do today. So I'd like to say, ladies and gentlemen, I'm deeply honored. I love you. Oh, you guys. I'm deeply honored to present to James Brown, this year's Lifetime Achievement Award, and nobody deserves it more than this man. Amazing. Incredible. Oh, I love this moment. <laughs> He's 
like, let's get back to the show. Yeah! Now that was a show performance. Oh, I love that. That was a moment. You know, years ago, little Mike, you know, I remember, he did a lot of James Brown steps, but you know, later on, he got his own steps. That's right. And that's what it's about. God bless the child, he got his own. I love him, but not as much as he loved him. I love you more. <laughs> oh, oh. You told me everything. Well, not, Michael, we all know that you went on and did a lot of things. Just... Oh, I'm sad that ended. Oh, that was really good. So let's talk about this moment. Now, you guys see I'm kind of like fighting back these tears here, but I'm okay. It's just that I get emotional watching stuff like this. And let me tell you why. Because, first of all, it means so much to be able to see an artist like James Brown receive that type of praise and honor from an artist like Michael Jackson. And it means a lot to be able to see Michael come full circle for me as well as a Michael Jackson fan. I'm gonna show you guys this clip right here of Michael Jackson when he did his audition for Motown, you guys. And he was singing and dancing like James Brown. Check it out here. For Michael to be there and to give him that honor and to say that no one has influenced him more, like that's huge you guys and I'm just trying to remember when was the last time we saw anyone from the latest, you know, our, our latest generation pass the torch on down to somebody else. Like one of the things that I loved about Michael was that he kept in touch, he kept speaking about his influences and the people that came before him and like that's what creates moments like this. Do you know what I'm saying? It just really struck a chord in me and it made me emotional not only to see James Brown to have that moment because that must be so cool for him to know that he influenced Michael and you know that he had this influence on not only Michael but this whole generation of people. Um, must be amazing for him, but then also to see Michael just kind of, you know, kind of break down in that moment and they both dance on stage and they start, they go from playing James Brown to into Shake Your Body Down to the ground and I'm just like, how do they even, like that whole transition, they must have planned that behind James's back because um, I'm sure he didn't know or maybe he did know, I don't know how that went. Um, if anybody has any inside intel or knowledge from that night, definitely let me know. And if you guys know where the, I can find the rest of that interview, you also comment it down below because I really want to react to that. Uh, I want to do some more videos, seriously you guys, on Michael Jackson's, the way that he took those who influenced him, took bits and pieces from each entertainer and combined them. Study the greats and be greater and Michael Jackson was the epitome of that. Another thing is, is that when we were watching this at home, I'm pretty sure that I was watching this by myself in the living room at home, just, you know, typically watching the BET Awards. I don't think that I knew that Michael Jackson was going to come out. Did you guys know? I don't think that it was announced. I think it was just announced as a tribute to James Brown. I don't think that that was publicized at all. Maybe James knew. Perhaps he did. Perhaps he didn't. I don't know. It looks like it's pretty worked into the stage show if you ask me. Um, at least some parts of it were. Uh, but but yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I would love to know more about that night. And if you guys were there watching that live, how was that for you? Because I remember this was in, I think, 2001 or two. So I was pretty young, um, you know, fresh off of just having seen Michael in concert, I believe. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was really a cool moment for me to come, you know, be able to see him come out pretty randomly at an award show. That's some of that 80s, 90s stuff. Um, that I got to experience a little bit of. Sorry, I'm like wiping sweat away because I'm actually really hot. I do not turn the air conditioner on in this room when I'm filming. And your girl's hot. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you guys thought of this reaction. Let me know what else I should be reacting to in the future and um, watch some more of my videos. They should be coming up somewhere around here. Um, don't just stop the party here. Keep going. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>